I need something to keep me busy in the evening, so I'm going to make something. I'm going to make one of these for my new bike packing bike. And this is a frame bag. Thought I'd film it, show you how I make it, and speak a bit about what it's made from and why I made the decisions I did. This is the first frame bag I made. It's made with a material called X-Pack VX21. A lot of outdoor backpacks, uh, bike packing bags are made with this material because it's extremely water resistant. I don't think it's waterproof. And it's also not that expensive. I buy it on, well, by the meter. I stitched the attachment points. These are the things that attach onto the frame directly to the bag on this one. And it was a real pain and it was a, a messy job. Um, I decided against that with the next one, which I will show. Generation two. You can see here I have this uh, strapping material and it's stitched every inch and a half, maybe two inches. And then you can select where these Velcro attachment points go. I went with simple, I just bought a, a wheel basically of Velcro tape, double sided. It feels quite flimsy, but it's extremely strong. There's no way that's gonna break. And that's what I've used, but you can essentially move these around and, and fit them wherever you want. As for the zip, I used a YKK waterproof zipper. Um, I think you can go for heavier duty zips, but this has been fine so far. And, and I do like the fact that it, it is waterproof and you can really tell just by squeezing the bag that uh, it is reasonably waterproof. Just got some tabs here so you can grab and pull. Other than that, it's quite a simple design. Um, this is on my road bike and I've used it quite a lot and I'm happy. So I'm going to go with this and essentially make a custom version of this for my new bike packing bike. So I have my template uh, that was taken from a piece of cardboard taped to the frame and then I drew around the inside and just cut it out with a pair of scissors. This is the VX21 material. You can see a sort of glossy on the inside, but uh, this is the face material. So I'm now going to put this on here and draw around it with my new chalk pen. I really like this thing. Makes life a lot easier. And that's that. And now I'll use a good pair of scissors and cut this out. It actually cuts really well and it doesn't fray. So I'm going to do, do that. So there's the black. I've used red just because I can. And the next thing to cut out would be the panel that goes all the way around. Now, the fewer joins, the better. So I'm going to try and cut that in one long strip. So I need to measure the perimeter of uh, this and then cut out a probably three inches. I think with this one, I did three inches and I like the width of this. That would have been three inches and you lose some for the, for the seam. So let's do a quick measurement. This doesn't have to be super accurate because you want it to be a little bit longer and you can always trim it off, which I'll show when I make it. So 47 along there, I'll say 60, so 107 and 132, so about 140. So I'm going to probably go for about 150 um, and then I know I'm going to have extra. So I didn't bother filming it, but this is 150 centimeters by three inches. And that is the side panel for these. So now I've cut all of the components for the frame bag. The next stage is to take whichever side is going to be my right hand side, because I am right handed, to attach the zip. Um, just it's easier for me. And it's going to go somewhere across there. So uh, I need to mark that out. Um, I have a technique in mind. 
um, which I don't know whether it will work, but I'm going to film it anyway and we'll see. Um, so that'll be the next step. Right, next step. Here's the waterproof zip. So I need to cut the opening for this zip. First step, get an idea of where it's going to go. We need about an inch either end um, outside of the opening. Hard to explain, but I'll show it when I when I cut it. So I think I'll draw that line in. About that, I think. It's not an exact science. Now I'll take my cutting wheel. And I'm going to cut that line. Always a bit scary. Pretty good. Pretty good. So that's open. Now, for the width of the opening, I believe I went with about 15 millimeters. Yeah, 15 millimetres. So what I need to do is mark 15 millimetres either side. Centred on seven and a half millimetres. So there. And I'm going to be cutting that diagonal angle. I need to cut a diagonal line seven and a half millimeters out. One there. One there. One there. And one there. And now the plan is to fold this back to make a neat edge. You can see what I've done. Fold these back, fold that out, and those. But of course it won't stay, so I'm gonna try and glue all these in place. So I'll get some super glue and we'll see what happens. Right, I have super glue. Let's see what happens. I really only want tiny little drops. Unfortunately, I've massacred the, the top of this bottle. Kind of held. Try going along and doing a bit more. Mm. Maybe. So I found these little peg things and I've used them to pin back the material whilst the glue sets. And now I'm going to take them all off and see if it's held. Fingers crossed. Yes, worked. I think I'm going to call that a success. Now the zip. I said earlier you need Actually, I better do this. You need about an inch either end. So about that far. These scissors are brilliant. That gives me enough either end to stitch behind. And it's going to look something like that. There we go. One inch that way, one inch that way. The zip's gonna go in place there. Now, to put the zip on. It's quite tricky. The best thing to do is to cut a V like this in the zip. And then, feed one end in, like that. And the other end in, like that. 
think. And with a bit of luck. There we go. Just pull that all the way down. God, I nearly sent it off the other end. And that's now on. Right, so I have the zipper foot on. I've lined the zip up in place. And now I'm going to start sewing it together. Start off going backwards here. And I'm going to take it nice and slow. Turn it up as I go along. the other side. Right, that's the two sides done. in places but that's not bad right now I want to make some little pull tabs probably about that big don't need to be too big just using this uh, strap old strap like webbing material there's one about there they're good enough and because they fray Burn the edges. And they're ready to sew on. So now we'll sew these tabs in. I reckon about there. Looks good. So this is where we're at. We have the two sides, one with a zip. That's the left side. We cut this the sort of side panel piece. And now I'm gonna take this, uh, it's like a strapping material. This was one of those cheap, I don't know what they're called, like a buckle strap. And I'm just going to use this as the webbing to go around here. It's sacrificed itself for this project as many cheap buckle straps have done throughout the years. Right now I'm going to mark either side and to give me a guide because it's hard to keep this strap in the middle as you're sewing. I'll do it at this end. Sort of, oh, I don't know, actually this ruler is quite, yeah, about the same width. Let's see what happens. Now we're ready to go to the sewing machine and stitch it on. It's going to kind of be, where's my other one? I'm going 
can see with this one. Got a gap there, which is enough for the Velcro tape to go through. Uh, well, this Velcro tape, which is just on a wheel. You can just cut off lengths like that. So that's the plan anyway. I forgot a step. Between each line, I'm gonna mark four centimeters. That gives enough room to get the straps through. So I'll do the first one and then I might mark a bunch of them, but we'll see. All right, we're ready to go. See that sewed across there. That's all nice. I'm gonna take my time with this. There is a way of doing it quicker, but I don't want to risk it. It's all marked down. Now just to get it all done. There's number one. Now I gotta do that. 8 million 12. Now I'm going to sew this side panel onto the panel with the zip. It doesn't matter which one you start with, but I think this is the hardest one, so just get it out of the way. You can see I've uh, sealed where I've sewn through the strap material with this seam grip tape. Just helps keep it waterproof or make it more water resistant. And I've left um, a gap there from the webbing because I'm going to overlap when I come back round Hard to explain, but you'll see what I mean when I get there. So now for the terrifying part of this, for me anyway, not being a great sewist, which is a term I've probably just made up. So let's see what happens. I've got about a five mil um, seam. Right, let's go. Turn the sewing machine on. Uh -oh. right. What the f Right, that was a total disaster. Something happened with the bobbin, so instead of unpicking it, I'm just gonna stitch over it. Hopefully, this will be a successful attempt. So same thing, nice and slow. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Feels like you're fighting the material when you're doing this, but you kind of are. Particularly when you get to these corners. Thank you. 
I can back it up, can't I? I'm well onto it. Wow, so stressful. That's one side done. Snip this off. So there, you can see, stitched all around the perimeter of that. It all looks good. Now we've got this overlap here. So I'm gonna trim that off at where, about there, middle of this. Straight across without cutting. That'll do. I can cut. I can sew straight across the middle. Good. I'm just going to seal that up. So I need a lighter. Now to stitch in the other side. Right, I'm just gonna sew this join up. seal all of these once I'm done as well as I did with these. So there's half a frame bag. You could put stuff in it but it falls straight out. Right so here we have the other panel and I'm going to stitch that onto this perimeter panel too. off before I get there so I don't sew them in.
simple as that. Right. Now, turn it the right way round. I think it was too pointy that end. That made it extremely difficult. This looks good. That's what I was worried about, was the pointy bit. Let's push out some of these corners. Actually, that's not bad at all. One frame bag. Ready to be installed. What I'm gonna do is go and put something in it make sure it looks okay when it's full. I'll be back in a sec. There. I have to say I'm happy with that. Ready be installed on the bike, which is, of course, what I'm going to do now. Yeah, that looks good. There right, so now, this is double-sided Velcro tape, so it sticks to itself. It sticks to itself. Yeah, there you go. I knew it did. So I need to measure what I want. I think, I don't know, an inch overlap. It's probably plenty. And this frame is pretty uniform all the way round. So I'm gonna cut, I don't know, as many of these as I can get out of this, I think. So there we have it, finished. I think that's a perfect fit. I'm extremely happy with that. It's in there nice and solid, nothing's gonna move that. So yeah, just got stuff with an old quilt at the moment. Perfect fit. These with a colour combination as well. Finished. Thanks for watching.